protesters disrupting a major trade route between Poland and Belarus, all in an effort to halt trade with Russia. Many of those demonstrators displaced Ukrainian refugees. Ashley Webster is live in Poland ahead of the president's visit this week. Ashley, good morning. Yeah. Good morning to you, Maria. What an interesting story. For weeks now, we've been telling you about the hundreds of thousands of Ukrainian refugees coming into Poland. Today, a different story. You see these uh, semi-tractor trailers here. They're standing in line, trying to get to that blue-roofed building and then into Belarus. But this is just the head of the line. Let me come over here, Tom. And you can't really do it justice without maybe a drone or something. But that highway has more than 30 miles of backed up trucks. And again, the protesters say we shouldn't be doing any trade with Belarus or Russia. That is just helping to fund the Russian war machine. But the truckers, most of whom would not talk to us, but some did, including Alexander. He's a driver from Russia. He's transporting frozen potatoes to Russia. And he says, I'm not interested in the war. I just want to look after my family. Take a listen. It's not for the war. It's only for our family. It's our work. Do you understand? We are doing uh, this work for uh, for people, not for the uh, um, Russia. Well, this morning, the confrontation between protesters and truckers got very heated. The police had to be called in. The protesters have gone for now. And this truck convoy is moving very quickly, Maria. But right here, Behind me is a white truck. This guy has been here four or five days. He got fed up. He pulled over. He pulled the curtains on his cab. He's sleeping, and now all the other truckers are having to go around him to continue their route. But this has been going on for several weeks. The EU is being told you must stop trade with Belarus and Russia, and this is one of the examples. Interesting part of the story. Maria, back to you. Yeah, and, and we've got a list of those companies that have not stopped doing ru uh, work in Russia, like, for right. example, Renault, the car company. We've got that list coming up. Yes. Ashley, thank you so much for your reporting. Ashley Webster nice on the ground.